At the White House, history turns a significant corner. The President of the United States escorts the Japanese Premier for a notable ceremony in the East Room 18 years after Pearl Harbor. Japan, a former foe, is by treaty to be elevated to partnership as an ally. Premier Nobusuke Kishi hears President Eisenhower speak of the new treaty of mutual cooperation and security before the signatures are affixed. This treaty represents the fulfillment of the goal set by Prime Minister Kishi and myself in June of 1957 to establish an indestructible partnership between our two countries in which our relations would be based on complete equality and mutual understanding. The treaty likewise reflects the closeness and breadth of our relations in the political and economic as well as security fields. Now, the signing ceremony. Premier Kishi binds his country to a treaty which regards an attack on Japan as an attack on the U.S. It pledges as well that we will consult in advance with the Japanese government on any major changes in the deployment in Japan of American armed forces or new equipment such as nuclear weapons. Secretary of State Herter initials the Treaty of Alliance in behalf of the U.S. The beginning of a new relationship as Japan takes its place as equal partner in the free world community. <laughs>